Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I am here to share with you my completed um, Country Craft Creations Design Team project. This is featuring the Wizard Witches and Wizards collection by Echo Park. I did use some of the um, my colors from Country Creations on the outside and on the first opening inside. This glitter paper I had in my stash and this, these three images are from the internet. They were free downloads and I just um, cut them out, um, put a, a lightweight chipboard behind them and then I went over them with some, um, what is the name of it? It is, and I don't see it out here. I don't, oh yes I do. It is the Clear Glaze by Nuvo on these three pieces. Then on my spine, I continued with the orange. I have some fabric here, and I want to show you. This is strictly for little Jackson. Look how it lights up. He will love that. I hope you can see the lights since I've got lights on in the room. But it's the bats all light up. And it's got a little battery pack under here. And I just hung some ribbons and some of this. I guess it's some kind of a netting. It's kind of black and gray. It's kind of spooky looking. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move it out of the way so this will lay out flat. So I used... Oh, I didn't show you the back. The back is one of the plaids. And this is the back of the casp, clasp. This is uh, a die that I had in my stash, the spider in the web, and the bat. So, my clasp, I kept the same orange so it wouldn't distract from the design on the front. And this drippy goo is a punch, an old Martha Stewart punch. So when you open it out, the first two openings are for 2019 and 2020. Let me make sure I'm in frame here so you can see. 2019, I just have three photos that she sent me of Brooke, Jackson, and Wyatt. She wants this to be uh, able to hold several years of Halloween photos so that she can document the changes in the kids and what, how their tastes vary from year to year depending on what costume they choose and that kind of thing. So, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. And then on this side will be 2020, which they haven't gone trick-or-treating yet. So let me zoom back out. Trying to make sure I stay in frame here. I got kind of dusty today. I've been working like crazy. Okay, so we open. This is a quad folio. It opens this way. I have to keep looking to make sure you can see it all. And on, I'm going to close this up so it doesn't fall off the edge of my table. So, section one has two pullouts in each pocket and they're just black on the back and these pockets lift up and there's photo mats on the back it's going to be kind of hard to see then you have a large area for a photo here two photo mats on the back of that and then we have a pull out here which I'll show you in a second this flips open and you have a little banner here and we have two more pullouts here so let me close this down and this down and we'll look at these pullouts this one is just a simple flip has two photos on the inside and one on the back and this is loose so that you can tuck something under it a photo or what have you. 
This one has a little tab pocket here. These little three pieces came from the ephemera collection. And it opens like this. Two more photos inside and one on the back. She wanted spaces for some fairly large photos in this. So that's why as often as I could I made an area for a larger photo because she wants to be able to take group photos of all three of the kids. And then this one is held by a paper clip. You can see how it's fastened on the back. I just made a little pocket for the paper clip. And there's two photo spots on the front, three on the inside. This one says, you are my favorite wizard. And then we have a large one on the back. And let's put the paper clip back. That holds that one closed. And let's go to section two. Section two has a pocket here in the front with two photo mats. It's held with two magnets and it pulls down and these bumpers open. And then we have a large insert here. This is held with a magnet. It just says boo. That was from a die that I had in my stash. Have room for photos or journaling there. This says I do believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book. So it opens here and I just cut a witch hat out of one of the design papers. We have another hat over here. Two more photos. A large photo here. Here's another one. This is from the ephemera. No, that, that is from one of the design papers. I just cut that section out. We have two photo mats here and two here. And this one says pack your bags for magic. just like that. Okay. Now for section three. Let me make sure I'm still in frame. I don't want to get where you guys can't see it. I might be a little bit too close. No, maybe I'm too far out. That might be better. Okay, this section um, has a little tab here that holds these closed. And these are just several little photo areas. It just flips back and forth like that. Just alternating. And then there's a pocket behind this. That holds this little folder. Just pops open like that. You can put photo mats, whatever. Um, I thought about... Um, putting in the few pieces of ephemera that I have left so that once she gets her photos in it she can glue the ephemera on top of the photos and then I just covered it with the same design paper on the back. Now this is put in like a waterfall and each one has a pocket with a large photo mat and it lifts this way with another photo mat and you have your second one and your third one and then there's a space for a large photo back here I just hadn't glued that one down yet but you can also put photos on the back of these large mats and we put this back in the pocket and that holds everything down okay side four we have a large flap here make sure that's yeah you can see it this flap says, Wizard rules, be courteous and brave. Seek magic every day. Be a loyal friend. Always carry your wand. Be up to no good. When in doubt, go to the library. <laughs> That's cute. It opens out for two, three photos. Flips out again for two little bitty ones and a long, narrow one. This one says, Magic is all around you. And then we have another insert in here with another photo mat. Let me close this up and we'll look at that last insert. And 
and this one is also held with a magnet, but this, instead of the fold over from the top, it's from the side. This one says, there's always room for a story that can make you believe in magic. And we have room for three photos here, two more here, four more here, and then we have a large area here for photos, and I have a little pocket in here with some of the ephemera. And this one just says, between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. Isn't that cute? Just the cutest papers, and I'm not really a fan of Halloween. I mean, it's not a big deal for me, but my grandson's wife just absolutely fell in love with this paper when it came, and she wanted it so bad in an album for her kids, so she's going to get it. It's all done and ready, and there is a tutorial following this walkthrough. So if you're interested in making one, which I hope some of you will try it, it was a lot of fun to make. It's adorable paper. Uh, I hope if you do make one, you'll share photos of your finished project. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, and have a super great day. Bye. For this tutorial, we have the large uh, album cover. I have already created mine, and I have done... Um, tutorials in the past on how to create a spine, or how to put the cover together, I should say. This one has one, two, three, four, five, seven pieces to it. And I do have a magnet on the inside. And it opens out like this. It's quite large. But my grandson's wife fell in love with this paper when it, when it arrived, and she just she wanted something that she could put several years of Halloween photos of her three kids in. So that is what I'm creating. This is larger than what I usually make. Uh, you will find the uh, cut list in the description box below the video. There are four panels that are seven by nine. This spine is two and a half. And these two are one and an eighth. The reason they're not one and a quarter, which is half of this, is because you have two thicknesses here and two thicknesses here. So it takes up the difference. So when you see the cut list, you will see panel one, two, three, and four. And that's how I've defined how we're going to put them together. So let me get my papers for panel one. I had not intended in the beginning to do um, magnets in the cover, but I didn't have what well, I wanted to put a hinge right here, and I have two different ones. One is the correct width, but the holes will hit right here where these two come together, so that one wouldn't wear. Then the other one is extremely small, and it just looked out of place on this one. Plus, the holes on it didn't match up either, so if I have an opportunity to go to town and look at more hinges, then we'll see about that. Let me get this score, score pal out of the way. It'll give me a little bit more leeway to move this around. Just sit in front of my cabinet. Whoops. Okay. So, panel one. I have my papers cut and inked. Let's hope I can remember what I did. Alright. We have two pieces. That goes underneath. That goes here. And I'm trying to keep all my little pieces separate so I don't forget what goes where. We have two large panels that go on the front, and these are eight and seven eighths by six. I think that's what it says. I wrote it down. All right, ruler, where'd you go? Oh, here's one. Fancy that. Eight and seven eighths by six. Yes. I am. What you need. It's okay. 
It's okay, go ahead. What do you want? Do you know if there's a lampshade for that lamp in my room? The one Libby gave you? I think the one that doesn't have a lampshade on it. The one over there? Yeah, the one that's just a bare bowl. No, but let me look around at my stuff. I think I've got some. Okay, honey, I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. So, this one, these are both the same size, and they're scored at a half and three quarters. One is going to sit here, and one is going to sit here. So, let's put those down. But I do, when they go all the way to the top and the bottom, I like to miter the edges just a little bit, but only to the half inch score. Actually, a little bit shy of the score. Leave yourself a little bit of a corner. So you don't have a hole there. Let me look and make sure I'm in frame. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. I don't have very much working space here. Back up my camera just a little bit. Okay, that should be better. Okay. Let's get some glue on these. And just to this first score line. It won't be completely to the top and bottom, but it'll be very close. And we're just going to line that up along the edge. Oozing. I wonder why it's doing that. I'll have to give me a wet wipe out. Our weather's been crazy around here. Hot one day and cold the next. And lots of rain and storms are brewing. It's always something. Okay, now this one is going to go just inside that spine score. Make sure you line up your bottom. Okay, now on the underside, we have a pocket, and I want to put the pocket down before I put the backing paper so that I can slide it inside the pocket. Now this one is 9 and 7 eighths by 3, and I notched it with the mini score envelope board. And to get my notch, I put this folded edge in the mini scoreboard at one and a half, and I punched it, flipped it over this this score line at one and a half, and punched it, and then just took my paper trimmer and cut out the center. Really easy to do. 
Okay, and there's my scissors. It's not completely squared off there. I had to revamp my lighting system, my lights for my my filming lights. The bulbs went out in the storm and I had to order new ones that come from Amazon and they won't be here till Monday, so I have an art light and a table lamp set up here trying to give me enough light so that I can do this tutorial. Otherwise, I can't do anything for Monday or Tuesday. And I didn't want to wait. I get impatient. Okay. I'm trying to move this down without knocking everything on the floor. And the pocket is going to go just inside that first score line. Just a hair. Line it up from top to bottom. this one and it should slide up under looks like I might have to trim it off just a hair and yeah let me take just a hair off it's hard to cut your design paper ahead of time I tried to ballpark it so I could get as much done while I couldn't film. Let's see if that fits. I think I'm getting caught on the edge of that pocket. I might have to take just another hair off. I don't know. Yeah, it needs just another little skimpy bit off. Let me ink this edge. I don't like that white edge. Oh, I didn't get a wipe for that glue bottle. It's still oozing. Okay, there we go. Now that'll go inside the pocket. Just shy of our man, this thing is oozing. Goodness gracious, never seen such a mess. I'll get the wet wipe out here as soon as I put this one down. magnets up here. Okay. Now, the paper for this is that one. Let me get that wet one before I do that anymore. I 
why that thing is oozing like that. Get up here on that lamp base. You know, I think I might like it just like that. I do. I like it better than the other side. I'm just going to make it like. And it's going to go right on there. Hmm. Look at that, it matches. The plan goes right across. And still wants to ooze. It's crazy. Okay. So let's put these down. This one is going to go on this side. Inserts, booklets, and photo mats in all these pockets after I get the base papers down. And then this side is the plan. Yeah, I like the plan better. Okay. Put the pin back in it for the time being. Until I'm ready for it again. Because it's getting glue all over me. Okay. <clears throat> now. On. This side, we have a belly band, and this is going to go on the center of the belly band. Okay, that will go on this side as soon as I get placement. And then this side is actually going to overlap. No, nope, that ain't going to work. Let me see. Hmm. 
Okay, this is my game plan. This is going to go here. Oops. straight here. There we go. Follow the plan. Okay, and then on this side. Okay, I did some revamping on this, guys. I had to replace the batteries in my camera, and while I was at it, I did some revamping because I wasn't happy with it, and I have corrected your uh, cut list to reflect the changes that I made. So everything will be, should be correct. But however, I'm human like anybody else. So if you see something that doesn't make sense, just shoot me a message and I'll be glad to help you. So I have constructed one of the little pockets that's going to lay along this fold over here. I had to take my paper off and I cut it down to five and three quarters because you've got your half and three quarter inch score here so that leaves you a five inch surface so I've constructed one of the little pockets and it's going to look like this with the pockets on top and then let me get a piece of chipboard here we will have inserts that go under the belly band and into the pocket and that will hold the whole thing closed so I won't need a magnet in this one. So that's the game plan. So on your pockets, let me move this necklace thing out of the way. On the pockets, um, these are, let me pull up the cut list here so I can tell you exactly. Um, the pockets are four and five eighths by four and five eighths and then the other piece is is that right? let me measure it I may not have it right on your cut list let me double check myself these are five and a quarter by three and a quarter five and a quarter so I need to fix that. Five and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then the back piece is four and a quarter by four. And I think I have that right. Let me write that down. Four and a quarter by four. And that's the back. said five and a quarter correct this is the disadvantage of working far ahead five and a quarter by three and a quarter okay okay I will correct that so what we want to do is take our uh, five and a quarter by three and a quarter and we're going to score both short ends and one long end at a half to make our pocket. Now you'll want to cut your corners out and then I just angle cut the top just a little bit. So we're going to glue that down to the front of this back piece. As far ahead as I was working, it's, it's no wonder. I tell you, last week was terrible for trying to get a video done. We had um, city workers right outside my window. 
putting down new water lines. And they were banging and booming and carrying on. I couldn't get anything done for all the noise. Then when they went away, the only reason they went away was because it was storming. It was raining cats and dogs when Delta. We got the tailwinds at Delta when it hit New Orleans the other day. Or wherever it hit in Louisiana. So we're going to burnish this down. Just like that. And now this paper is directional, so be sure you get it going the right direction. And this goes on the top of the pocket. Just like that. goes inside the pocket and I use the We Are Memory Keepers angle punch. Mine is the white one that has the large and the small angle and I used the large angle on this. I'm just going to slide this inside the edge of the pocket. Just like that. goes on the back for a photo mat. This is excellent work. The front is of the blue track. Okay. And there is that. It doesn't look like it punched straight. Let me turn this just a hair. There, that's better. Now we're going to space these evenly over this flap. Let me get a piece of white to put under here so I can see my edge. It's hard to see it when you've got black on black. So, I want it to be where I can see my edge. So we're going to space these out evenly. You don't want it completely to the bottom, but close. And I want a little gap between them. So let's do it like that. So we're going to add these down. This one down as well. And we're going to put this one right here. Let's burnish those down. and put it down. Anyway, um, by the time the workers went away, the rains came from the tailwinds of the Delta storm. Couldn't get any light in here. It was so overcast and yucky. My lights went out, the, the lights that I normally use for filming. They decided to go out, 
So I had to order, and they use a specialty bulb, so I had to order them. And lo and behold, I got the wrong ones. They came and had to be sent back. Now I've ordered the right ones for sure this time. And they should come in the next day or two. So meanwhile, I ran to a dollar outlet, got a small lamp that would give me some more light. So my weekend wouldn't be a total loss. I mean, it's been one thing after another. But we persevere. We just keep going. There is that. Make sure these are going to fold down. They do. in the house once mom cool. the six month mark. Okay. Okay, that's everything for panel one. And let me put something in there to hold that down. I'll cut a piece of chipboard here and slide in there. Just some scraps. So it'll stay closed while we move on to panel two. There we go. That'll hold that down. Get my pin back in my glue so I don't goof that up. Okay, let me grab my papers and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go on panel two. Got my papers out. Hopefully everything's cut right this time. <laughs> it's just really hard when you work way far ahead to make sure everything is cut perfectly right. Okay, let me see if I can remember here. We have two bumpers on the sides. And then we have a pocket on the bottom. Oops. And what I want to do with this pocket is this is going to go on the under panel. Then we'll have the pocket on the top. This goes on the back side. And I should have another piece cut the front here. That goes under there. Oh, that, there it is. The banner one. Okay. So, let me put these over here. I want to assemble the pocket first. And this is eight by two and a half. Let me measure it and make sure I don't, I'm not off at all. All right, ruler, where'd you go? I'm not kidding you, I've got so much stuff out here. Oh, there it is. Been a snake, it had bit me like they say. Okay, eight. The widest point is two and a half. And that is going to go on a piece that is seven by three. And we've scored both short ends and one long end at a half. And then I, with this edge folded under, I placed the score line on one and a half on the mini punch board and punched my notch on both ends and then just cut straight across. And I have inked everything with black soot. So let me score these again. And we'll put this little pocket together. And this is just going to be a big pouch to hold lots of inserts and photo mats. with me now. 
need you to come out of there. Mm. It's giving me a hard time. Let me get the pin in there. Well, can't get a hold of it to pick it up. There we go. Just needed to be poked a little bit. Okay. So let's match up these bottom corners. Make sure it's lined up on the bottom. Merge that down good. And this one should slip right inside. I don't need to trim it up any. It's getting past these little wings. There. That'll work. Okay, so let's get some glue on this. I just want to do it again. There must be a glob in there somewhere, and I just cleaned it out yesterday. It's my own fault, though, because I forget to put the pin in it when I'm... See, it's still doing it. I'm going to have to take the cap off or the fine tip point off of it, probably. Come on, turkey. keeps doing that. There's something in there clogging it up. Get this fine tip point off of it. Don't want to come off. And goodness gracious. pliers and get it off of there. Never had one do that before not want to come off. There it is. Now it's going to, I just remember yesterday when it, when it was oozing out too fast. That's probably why it got stuck. Now I'm going to have too much glue. Let me get this off my paper so I don't get... Oh man, I glued the wrong side, guys. Darn it. Ugh. I don't want to have to cut another piece of paper. Let me see if I can get this off of here real quick. Darn it, anyhow. I'm going to tell you, this week has been a series of mess-ups. There, yeah, I got it off of there quick enough. Now let me put some more glue on it. <clears throat> put that wet wipe up there. some more glue on it. Put it down the right way. on this one. You 
This has been weak for the record books, I'll tell you. If any one thing could go wrong, it did. Between the storms and the workers outside and the lights going out, and, oh my gosh. It's been something else. There we go. Oh, there's my little pocket. The only thing I didn't allow for was I need a flange on the back, so when you cut yours, you will want to cut it a half inch longer than I did. I think I said it was Three? Did I say three? Let me measure. Yeah, cut yours three and a half so that you can score it at a half. And I want to cut this off right here. I need to make myself a, a flange to fold under is all I need to do because I didn't leave a half inch. I should have done that, but I didn't. Okay, so I only need an inch by eight. Or did I say seven? Okay, I'm going to score this at a half. I'm just going to put it in here and score it so I don't have to drag out the scoreboard again. sure I don't have any overhang. And let's see what we get. It'll be perfect. So, when you cut your back piece, just cut it an extra half inch longer, and then score it I have from the bottom so that you'll have this turn under flap that I forgot but if you've already cut your pieces you can cut a one inch strip just like I did and add it to the bottom usually when you goof up there's a way around it nothing is earth shattering take care of that. Now we can add this piece to the back, which when it opens like this, then this will be right side up. That's why I cut it that way. Let me put a little ink on here. Didn't look like I got enough on it. No one me on me, I forgot to ink it all together. I'll have to shut this off here in a second and turn my air conditioner back on because it's getting kind of warm. And it just, for me, it makes too much noise when I'm trying to explain to you what I'm doing because it's right here in this window. So there's that. Okay, take a short break, get that air on, and then I'll be right back. Okay, here's where we're at. For whatever reason, I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. But here's the game plan for panel two. I had added these two little flange pieces here and these measure seven and a half by three 
and this is going to go on the outside. This will go underneath. Get my little pieces that fell out there. This will be the same. And I just added them to both sides, just, just off the top edge, just a little bit. And then I've added magnets on both of them and up under here so that when we close it, this will be self-contained for all kinds of folders, folios, and then we have a little pocket here as well. So with that said, let me get out panel three because I can glue all that down off camera and save some time on the video. So let's take a look at panel three and make sure I'm in frame. Let me move some more of this over. Yes, you can see panel three. Okay, let me get my papers. And I will show you the game plan for this one. I do have the witch paper cut out for all of the spines. I'm going to put this in here. And I have some more cut out somewhere here. The witch hat paper will be in all the spines. Like that. Okay, this one has a lot of parts to it. This is going to be the backing. And we are going to have pockets. Okay, we're going to have four, and they're going to stair step like a waterfall. And these are three by five and a quarter, and they're going to attach here. And there will be four of them. And I have photo mats cut for the back of each one. And then there will be the star paper, stars and moon, and the cream color on that. And then there will be a pocket on top. Like this. Oops. And in each one of these four, there will be a photo mat. And I have those cut out too. Then, let me lay that aside here, down at the bottom, we will have double flaps, like this, and this, and then there will be smaller ones, I've got to keep all my pieces separate, here and here, and there will be a stopper to hold those closed. So. What I want to do is put my pockets together. I've got to keep all these little pieces separate so I don't lose my train of thought. Um, this, this time this can go down first because everything else is going to be placed on top. So I am going to glue these three pieces down. I'll put a couple of the pockets together and save a couple to do with you on camera and that'll help save a little bit of time and then we'll go from there. Alright, on this waterfall, I think we're only going to be able to get three of them on there because of this little bracket at the bottom of this little. So, but that'll be fine. I'll just use another pocket somewhere else. Probably. Anyway, uh, what we need to do I have attached two of them to a three inch strip, just like that, and we'll make the third one together. I'm going to use the yellow, and there's the backing piece, and here's the pocket. Now these pockets are five and three quarters by three, scored on three sides, of course. How else would you make a pocket, right? <laughs> okay, so let me burnish these real good. And we'll put the yellow paper on it. Try 
right for size. That looks good. So we'll glue that down. Well, goodness gracious, I can keep it straight. And we'll glue this on top of this piece. This is your base piece. Let's check your corners. And burnish it down. Moon and stars. That's going to go inside. Just shy of the edge. Goodness. Somebody's happy out there this morning. And then we can put our photo mat on the back. Okay, now we'll add this. <clears throat> Goodness, get all that glue off. It looks like I'm shedding skin. And this is the third one. And it's going to attach right below the blue one. even with the third one. Now, oops. Two and three. And we will glue this down. Let's see how bulky that is. It's a good thing I didn't put the fourth one on it. It would have been too long. So we're going to glue this here, here, and here. So we've got a little insertion point here. She said she wants lots of room for photos, so that's what I'm giving her. in place and it's going to go just shy of the side 
even with the top. And I am going to put some clothespins on it this time because it is so thick. And where is my... <coughs> I've got this metal thing that one of my grandsons gave me. And I'm going to lay it on here to hold it down. Now on this bottom piece, I have attached the two larger flaps. What are they? Let me see, I'll tell you. Um, They're five and a half by two and three quarters. Let me measure them and make sure. Yes, five and a half by two and three quarters. And then I have a piece that is uh, seven and three quarters by two and three quarters. And we're going to glue this down here. And it's just scored on the two short ends. And I am going to taper the top. This is going to provide our stopper. Oh, glue on the bottom. This is not scored on the bottom, just on the two sides. I don't want any more bolt than what I've already got. So this is going to line up right here. And right here. <coughs> now these will close. And then we'll add these two to the top. You know, I don't want to line them with it, both edges on these little ones. Just, just the corner pieces. Just to take the edge off. Better safe than sorry. So we're going to glue on the bottom side so we can attach it right to the top. Of course, we'll have a stopper on here to hold these little goodies down. Those pin down here just to keep them from flopping for the time being. Now I can get rid of this and we will have photo mats in here that will hold that down and keep it from flopping around. And then she'll have a pocket up under here. Plus she'll have these photo mats in here. to trim them down a little bit. I may be overzealous on my photo mats. Oh, I was in the wrong place. This is one. Nope, that'll work. Here's 
these two. And these are seven and a quarter by four and a quarter. There's two. And three. Oops, what am I hitting? There we go. So we'll have three photo mats. Like that. Okay. And then we'll have our stopper in here. That'll be panel three. We're coming along, guys. We're getting there. All right. I've got to cut some more papers. I got a few cut, but not all of them. So we want to keep moving right along. So I will be back shortly. Okay, guys. I have glued a bunch of pieces down, um, mat wise for the panel three, and I wanted to share that with you before I go any farther. I'm really not trusting this part here to hold that down because of the bulk. I did glue, uh, put a couple little stoppers here and I just put a scrap in there to hold it down. And here are your four little photo mats in there. So that goes like that. And this is just a scrap. But it'll keep it from flopping around while I work on it till I make something to go in there. This is what concerns me, and I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is glue some type of a photo mat down here so that I can hide a magnet and put it on the back of number one, and that will hold it down. That's what I'm thinking. I just, you know, I don't know that something in the and the bottom here is going to be strong enough to hold it down. I don't think so. So that's my thinking, but until I get to that point, I'm not going to worry about it. Right now we need to move on to panel four. Move this bottle of glue out of the way. Let me see if you all can see panel four. Yep. Okay, let me grab my papers here. See if I can remember what I had laid out. I get going so far ahead and then I've got to regroup and think, oh gosh, what was my plan there? I've got little scraps everywhere I need to clean up my table before I go any farther. But I wanted to show you. Okay, let me pause it here real quick and I'm going to clean up some of this disaster so that I can give you a better layout. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, for panel four. Get this paper out of the way here. Okay, we have a pocket, and I've just put a little scotch tape over the edge of these magnets so they don't stop anything, or at least impede it from sliding inside. Let me burnish these again. Make sure they're down really good. Okay. So we're going to put some glue on this pocket. Kind of a weakly glue line, but it works. And we're going to put it just shy of that fold line, which I think is right there. Make sure, yeah, that's good. Right there. Large flap, uh, five and a half by eight and seven eighths, that is scored at one half and three quarters. And it is going to go on here.
just down to the half inch score line. push this back to the first score line and then we will have a smaller one which is four and three quarters by six and a half and it is scored one time at six and a half so we're going to put some glue on that and I'm just going to eyeball it kind of center ways best I can without glue on the front that's not necessary Right, and it's going to go right along that three quarter inch line, and that like so. Okay, and then I have one of the cut aparts I'm going to put out here on that piece. Put some white paper behind it so I can see my edges. And we will glue that down. wasn't necessary to throw it on the floor now, was it? <laughs> okay, now that we've got our flaps on, we can put this piece up under the pocket. And I may need to trim it just a hair, I do. Just a bit. Let's see if that's enough. top edge that I just cut. Okay. These paper are so pretty. Really pretty vibrant colors. And we're going to go down to the three-quarter hinge. Just like that. There we go. Let's burnish this down. Okay, let's see if I can pull this up and move over some more. I hope you all are seeing everything I'm doing. There is the pocket, the piece underneath, and our two flaps. So on this large flap, I am going to put a cut apart. And let me see if I can remember what I had planned. A photo mat. And no, that wasn't that. 
I gotta remember my game plan here. Oh, I know what it was. I think I do. It's this and this. But these are too large. Oh, I know why, because I decided to put the extra quarter inch in there. So I have to take a quarter inch off of these. And then, I don't want that there. I need to cut a strip for that. So let me glue this down. This magic is all around you. And then we can go this one down. off of these it should be perfect since I had to cut that down. If not, I'll really cut them up. some little tiny filler mats. For your little sprocket photos and that kind of stuff. A hair. <laughs> Better to leave it alone, huh? And this is going to go here. Minus a quarter of an inch. ink now. to put a little pot of dog under there. Well, I don't see any pot dots handy, so here's what I'll do. I will cut three quarter inch pieces. Three 
three little pieces. And I will stack them together. Just takes a little dot of glue. And stack them up. And put the glue on the top and the bottom. Where those points are, and then we will attach it right here. Okay, that takes care of that, no pop dot needed. So now we have this, <coughs> and let me see, I'm trying to remember what I had planned for this. Alright, I may have to cut some more pieces because I can't re I can't remember what I had planned. I think these go over here. But I don't remember what I Oh yes I do, I remember. Okay. Let me glue these two little pieces down. Two filaments. Too long for there. We'll put this crest in there. Okay. Some more little scraps. Okay. Put this down here. And it'll be our little pop dot for the crest. Put that right in the center. Okay, let's see if this will work here. It's a little bit too wide, but I can I can fix that. I'll be right back. <laughs> 